This is a regular emerald block in Minecraft. And this is an ultra realistic Minecraft emerald block using custom shaders. We are doing the most ultra realistic Minecraft build battle in all of history versus my best friend, Keith. Oh, I'm blown away right now. We're going to start out by building the garage for our house. I just love how these glass panes look with this mod. I don't think that they could look any more epic. I mean, seriously, guys, how insane is this? I'm just going to pour down some water because I want you guys to see how truly epic this is. Look at how realistic this water is. I've never seen Minecraft play like this before. Oh my gosh, look at the reflection in the F5 mode. I know we are wasting valuable build time, but seriously, I had to show you guys. Preston, we need to focus up. We don't have a lot of time. As you all know, 30 minutes is the name of the game. I'm really liking this for our garage entry. With how good the shaders look, I feel like we have to go with this chiseled quartz because it's specific to the shaders mods that we have. Oh my gosh, look Look at this chiseled quartz. That looks so good. Yeah, we'll get it like that. Okay, this looks good. Check this out, guys. I made a slight modification to our garage door here. I added in this thing I found. It's called Reflective 2D Glass Pane. I've never seen this before, but I'm starting to absolutely love how it is looking. And now we need to also, we got to change this. We cannot have dirt blocks in our garage. As much as I do love how the grass looks, there are other blocks that look even more epic. Don't forget, by the way, if you guys want to see more build battles like this, make sure you leave a like down below so we can keep crushing these out for you guys. I'm using gray stained glass blocks and they have never looked this good before in all of Minecraft until this very moment in time. These look absolutely stellar. Right now, I'm really sad that we don't have a legitimate car mod inside of Minecraft because that would make things look 10 times better. Oh, wait a second. Guys, look. Oh, this? What? Hold on. This is like magic. If you look through the 2D reflective glass, you can see through the glass floor into the blocks that we broke beneath it. What? Oh, okay. That is cool. This is very epic. I'm sorry I am nerding out right now. I've really never played around with shaders this much until today, and I am literally just kind of... I'm low-key freaking out right now. Technically, this is not a door, but this might work as a door. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit too edgy. I mean, it looks like a door. A little bit, right? Maybe not like a lot of it, but I think it looks like a door a little bit. Can we add a button on it to make it feel maybe a little bit less creepy like a prison? You know what? I like it, okay? I know it feels a little bit creepy, but it looks epic. Our garage is basically uh, all finished right now. I've got to add a little bit more things to it. I'm going to probably break these corner blocks over here. Replace this with a dirt block, but what else are we missing right now? We're gonna have an entrance, obviously, into the garage once we get a little bit more done with the, the detail of the house. I'm probably gonna push this house out a little bit more. So I wanna build, like, a really cool area for the plants. I just need to find the right... Like, I don't know how to explain it. I think we're gonna use oak trap doors. No, yes. Oak trap doors or spruce trap doors. I wonder, I don't know. Guys, let me know. Does this look tacky? I feel like this actually looks really cool because now we could put a bunch of flowers inside of here. Let me know if you guys are a big fan of this. I personally love red with white. I think red and white look so cool together. Like, this looks pretty ballin'. Do we like these trap doors more? I think we're gonna go with these trap. I just don't like that you can see the dirt. That's like my only problem. Hmm. The other option is we could build... Oh, whoa. Hold on. Okay, the iron trap doors definitely look epic. Ooh, wait a second. So we can add redstone torches beneath and we should be able to get all of these to stand like this. Yes. I, I feel a lot better about this design. Oh, dude. Yeah, that is looking gravy cakes. Look at this flower bed. Best flower bed in all of Minecraft. And I'm still obsessed, by the way, with this quartz. Like, look at the detail. So I wanted to add an additional flower bed. But I think for now, just for now, we're going to make this work. Because this still looks really cool. And obviously, our house is going to be two stories. So what we should start doing is laying a little bit more of this foundation. Dacian. We need to make an entrance to our garage somewhere. I don't <laughs> I don't know exactly where we are going to make that garage entrance, but I promise it will be somewhere. Usually all nice houses have a bedroom downstairs, at least one, obviously a kitchen, and then a living room, and usually also a dining room. I don't know if we can fit all of that into this house, but we do need to mark off an area for our pool. I'm going to dig a small area next to the house so I know that the pool is going to go here. And just so I don't forget to add this before the time runs out, let's go and add this right here. Pool, 
under construction. Oh, checking the time, guys. We have about 20 minutes remaining. Now we gotta decide, what are we gonna do down here? Is there gonna be a living room? We need a kitchen, 100%. We also need a dining area. We don't necessarily have to make the bedroom. Diglett and I have some very good news. If you buy the ice cream hoodie and the frozen fire hoodie, you will get a free original fire t-shirt. Go to PrestonStyles.com. We didn't add custom doors to this mod. I wish we did because if we did, it would look Super epic, but what I'm thinking about for the floors is we could go with some like really cool gray floor All right, we're gonna search. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right. It's um S Um s-o-e-a I, I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. So please don't judge me However using this we can find some of the really cool custom textures that we want to add to our kitchen. Look at this Okay, I, I'm not a big fan of green inside of my house But you have to admit the emerald block looks like something from a totally different video game Ooh, I like this light gray terracotta. I like the smooth stone. The smooth stone might actually be the perfect thing for our kitchen. We're going to make things extremely simple. We're going to do floor to ceiling glass right over here because also I just realized the pool is right over here and we probably want to have a beautiful look at our pool while we're enjoying our meal. I don't know if you guys could tell, I'm a big fan of glass. I think that if you have glass in your house, it pretty much immediately makes your house look more fancy to me. I don't know why, I just always love the look and the design of all glass houses. And this is actually gonna be a perfect place for us to put some of the natural stuff that comes within this. I don't know what this is, it's called floor vegetation. Oh, boom! Yeah, bo okay, that is definitely an epic gamer moment. I might line a lot. Okay, maybe <laughs> I don't want to add too much of this stuff because it's pretty in small doses, but a little bit too much of it might make you go a little crazy. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Oh, we can't put it next to here because we got the trap door. Using it on the side of the garage looks really good. I might end up replacing these over here. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. But like, over there, maybe not a good idea over there. I do probably need to go ahead and add a little bit more detail to the ceiling. This is not only going to be our ceiling, but this is is going to be our second floor where we have our probably two bedrooms. I'm going to build a recording setup room like what you guys are currently seeing me in right now. And of course, we do need a place to sleep because right now we don't even have a bedroom. Oh, okay. I'm in love, guys. I found these oak stairs. These custom oak stairs are now one of my favorite things that I just found. And we are definitely building our staircase out of these. If anybody wants to give me pro tips on how to build in Minecraft in the comments, you are very welcome to. I know I'm a bad builder in Minecraft. I honestly want to learn and get better. I promise. I understand. I'm not, I am not good at building, but I promise I am working on it. Do we like, oh, I kind of like this. It's a little strange and I love it. I like it when you can like, because if you walk in the front door of a house, I like when you can see the staircase. Because the first thing people are going to see is they're going to see the staircase of the second floor. Obviously, this beautiful garage with our fancy car. Then they're going to come into the kitchen area. And I'm thinking like right over here might be a good dining area. Because I think the dining area usually is to the left in the house when you build it. I forgot to show you guys these bookshelves. Look at this. Custom bookshelves, which look absolutely amazing. I wish the color was a little bit lighter so it could match our custom oak plant over here, but the bookshelves look choice. And I haven't even showed you guys what the glowstone looks like. It kind of shines a little bit of warm light, but I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it looks very, very good. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm having too much fun. I have never had this much fun building in Minecraft pretty much in my entire life. I'm so addicted to how everything is looking because it's looking incredible and I keep getting sidetracked. And instead of building the interior of the house, I'm adding these light posts to the outside, but they look so good. Can you blame me? Preston, you you need to focus right now. We've got to finish the kitchen, which literally hasn't even been started yet, nor have we even started inside of here. So I feel like building the dining table, I want to go with oak planks because we've already built the stairs out of the oak planks and I feel like it matches really well. I mean, this is looking pretty hype. We might want to, no, 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 we're going to let this go out one. Yeah, there we go. Now I feel like we got enough spacing unless do they have, <gasps> they've got the slabs. I know it's kind of weird because the, the table's only got two legs, but I think it looks looks very cool, very ultra modern looking. People who don't like modern stuff are probably like watching this video and they're like, Preston, we hate everything. <laughs> if you are not an ultra modern fan, I, I'm, I'm sorry guys. I, I just, I love the ultra modern design. I've never been able to get away from it. I just think it looks so cool. I mean, check this out, peep this. Now you've got an incredible view of the pool. You've got this view right over here. I mean, you can
can literally see everything. The one thing that we are kind of failing on right now are places to place our glowstone lights. Another thing I just realized, we still have yet to take out all the grass inside of our house. We gotta change the floors. I cannot be having this epically beautiful house made of grass floors. That is not gonna fly with the OP dog. Look at this. Smooth stone is literally giving us the most grand entryway pretty much I feel like I have ever seen. Oh, I wish this was my house in real life right now. Literally no clickbait. Oh my gosh, obsidian looks so good. There's no way we can build a floor out of obsidian, unfortunately, but my entire house is going to look so monochromatic, but I still love it. I'm, I'm, I'm not even upset, not even upset, not even a little bit. My mom is an interior decorator, and I feel like I need to have her come film an episode with me because she would face palm at what I'm doing. I bet you she would look at everything I'm building and like, Preston, what? <laughs> you do not know how to design a house. And to that, I agree. Mom, if you're watching this video, I love you. You're the best mom in the entire world. Everybody go give your mom a hug. Limited edition Preston Styles fire zip up hoodies signed by yours truly. Giant fire logo in the back. Head to PrestonStyles.com. Good news is over. No slabs, but the chairs. That is what we're missing here, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm getting confused. So I'm going to see how cobblestone stairs look. Ah. Uh... We are honestly having trouble looking for stairs that match because I think if you make the entire thing out of the oak stairs, it looks too bland, right? It doesn't, I don't think it looks good. So even though I'm not a huge fan of the cobblestone chairs, I'm going with them because they look different and they add a little bit of texture to our little kitchen area. And I actually really like this, okay? I, I like the floor. I thought initially I wasn't going to like it, but I'm actually, I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. Okay, so I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. All right, hear me out, guys. I don't know where to get good lighting. And I know that sounds really weird. I am struggle bussing on the lighting situation. I think the dining room will be a little bit easier to light because I'm going to make the ceiling a little bit taller over here. I hope you guys don't dislike this, but I added like a little bit of uh, kind of like some chandeliers above the dining table. Some iron bars over here, here, and then right here to the house to kind of make it feel a little bit more open. I feel like right now it feels a little... Um, <sighs> Not like you're suffocating, obviously, but it definitely feels like a little bit more could be done to make it feel like the space is more open, so to say. But now it's starting to go from like suffocating to like, I would say more cozy. And that's something I'm feeling very confident about. Between the dark oak and then the regular oak planks, I gotta say, I like the oak planks more. I'm not a huge fan of like the tan-ish neutral colors that the oak plank has, but I do think it looks really nice. And it matches the stairs and it matches the kitchen table. So we're going to make it work. <laughs> I know this looks weird. Bear with me for a moment, guys. I know I said I didn't like the green earlier. I think the emerald blocks look like a refrigerator. And we can add iron doors to the top of our glowstone here. This is what I feel like it was missing. Now that we've got this up here, the kitchen looks so much better. I don't want the kitchen to feel too... Like, if the kitchen is too jam-packed, we got to have a little bit of space. So since we want a little bit more space in our kitchen, we're going to use half slabs at the top because I don't want to like, I don't want to ruin this beautiful view we have going on over here. Double sink going down with the water. Can we, add, I don't know if we can add a faucet. Can we add a water faucet? I don't think we can. That makes me kind of sad. Here's what we're going to do right here. I have figured it out. We're going to add a very like super smart, uh, like a really small table to this area. I think it's missing it. Yeah, look at that. So we got this small little cool table right here so you can enjoy your meal while viewing the pool if you don't want to eat at the formal dining table. Oh boy, guys, the time is running out way too fast. I'm having Having too much fun. We have got to pick up the pace. Do me a favor, guys. If you get here in the first hour of a brand new video being uploaded, you have a chance to have your comment read and featured by myself. So make sure you get here in the first 60 minutes if you want to have your comments at a chance of being featured. I'm starting to feel like I'm happy now. I, I really am happy. I don't know if there's anything else I would potentially add to the downstairs. I think it's done. Before we add to the second floor where we'll have probably our gaming setup area and then our bedroom, we gotta do something here with the pool. All right, the pool area is lacking. <laughs> it is very much so not a very cool pool. And in order to fix that, we're gonna add glow, oh yeah, glowstone going down in the DMs. 
We're gonna add glowstone to the entire bottom floor because it's going to look epic, especially at nighttime. In fact, this actually even kind of looks like a hot tub. Then we could probably bust out maybe the stone brick. Oh yeah, now we just gotta pour in the water. Look at this, dude. I cannot get over how beautiful this water looks. I've always liked pools that have glass. I just love glass. I think you guys probably know by now from all the videos I've made, but I just really like glass. I think glass looks epic. The only bad thing about the glass is we've got this like kind of ugly dirt on the outside, so we do need to fix that. I do not want to be looking at that when I'm having a good time at the pool. Oh, yep. The custom sand textures. The sand almost looks pure white, which is something I really like. And of course, a pool is not complete until you've got a diving board for some fun. Always be safe when you're doing the diving board. I think this is all the time. Like, I want to add so much more to this pool. We just don't have enough time. If you look at our house from the outside without the second story being completed, this is a gorgeous home. I would be happy to live here any day of the week. Do you guys know how fast 30 minutes goes by when you're trying to build a custom masterpiece and I'm already bad as it is when it comes to building in Minecraft. Like, it's just, it's not right, guys. Okay? It's just not right. I'm gonna put down my triple bed over here. I think I'm gonna change the floors. No, if I change the floors out, what's going to happen is these blocks are going to change. I wanted to add some obsidian because, well, the obsidian looks epic, but I guess we can still add some obsidian. Like, small, like, little details over here, but pretty much I know this is kind of pathetic, but this is currently my bedroom situation. We gotta throw up some torches fast. We don't even have enough time to put down the glowstone I wanted to put down. This makes me so sad. We were so close to building what probably would have been my perfect house, like ever, but we just didn't have enough time, guys. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The time is officially up. Keith, the time is up. Turn around and feast your eyes on Casa Preston. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, here I go. Here I go. Boom. Oh, my god. Yeah, dude. Wait. Fully modernized, bro. Dude. These lamp entrances are so sick or light posts. This They're is like, such a sweet <laughs> design. I'm not sure what they are. So obviously I don't have a car right now, but I love the 2D reflective glass to add a little oh bit more depth to the garage gosh. door. What is this down here? The floor of the garage? It's a gray stained glass block. It looks super epic. Also, Keith, so you can sweet. look through the 2D reflective and you can actually see into the garage. Trips you oh out a little bit though. Oh my gosh. We got a little flower bed over here, you know, just this nice This is and the easy. most modern flower bed I've ever seen. <laughs> I like Look the red with that the casing. Oh my gosh. We got That's the, uh, so sick. Okay. Do your oh my garage gosh. door. <laughs> yeah, the, okay, uh, okay. it's a little moody lighting though, because I couldn't find any better light sources because obviously hey, Preston, shaders. you set the mood however you want, brother. You set the mood however you want. Am I seeing outside a You're, dive board? This, yeah, dude, that's a, bro, I was a lifeguard in high school, so I had to have a diving board. It was a necessity, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, we'll see your best dive at the very end, Preston. We'll see your best dive. Okay, so a, a large okay. table for work. It's a very small Ooh. bedroom. There wasn't enough time, dude. 30 minutes to build with a brand new shader pack that you've never worked with before? Not yeah. enough time. My pool, I don't think it's as good as oh. yours. Obviously, if you guys want to, this is a build battle, so you've got to go check out Keith's channel if you want to see what he built, but... All I'm going to say is Keith might have added a sauna, and I'm totally jealous that I didn't do that, but this is but my swimming pool. But this is so sweet with the lamp underneath. I love that glow effect. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Glow is it orange concrete or is it a Wait, lamp? No, let's it do looks time. Like a what is time set now? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm blown away right now. Ladies and gentlemen, our mind oh. is blown. Check out Keith's channel and see what his house looks like. Click either one of these YouTube videos that YouTube's recommending to you. Have a great day. Be blessed, and we'll see you next time.